नमस्कार मुश्किल नमस्ते नमस्कार माय हार्ट फेल्ड ग्रेटिट्यूड टू बी एबल टू बी इन योर प्रेजेंस टुडे आई एम जस्ट कंफ्यूज्ड इन टू थिंग्स दैट यू हैव पॉइंटेड वन इज टू बी अ विटनेस टू एवरीथिंग गोइंग अराउंड अस एंड नॉट टू गेट स्ट्रांगली कनेक्टेड और आइडेंटिफाइड विद एनीथिंग ओके दैट इज वन पार्ट and the other is to be able to live in the present moment yeah. give yourself 100% to your present moment and not to bother for the past or the future yes now when i try practicing this uh i am able to uh you know dissolve or dilute my identity to some extent i can do it mm. but during that time i also lose interest in the my present physical world you know certain duties which you have to perform certain things which require lot of attention mm. lot of interest and lot of intensity yes that intensity also simultaneously gets dissolved if i dissolve my identity you know yes so it is difficult for me to balance these two things very good thing is not two things the one is the first and most important no is to somehow be seeing from the place of from that true formless place that you say it's taking place to some extent to a good extent the effect of that also is actually creating change in your dynamic life now you use the term uh, in present moment to be in the present moment present moment is not something to do with time mm. you understand this present you know in the you know uh, present moment is not about time mm. it is really about attention and presence presence is not time is not present as in time presence mean that you are self aware ordinarily as human beings we have many thoughts come many suggestions many possibilities there isn't the time to fulfill all of them and mostly we are troubled by them we waste a lot of energy pursuing things which you cannot complete also because we are not clear in our mind that that sometimes we build things that we don't finish or you build things that you cannot occupy and actually the universe just makes someone else occupy that that's the way it's fine on that level we don't like that but it happen because consciousness does not waste any of its expression good or bad to the human mind but for you what happen is that as your mind become more centered and rooted in heart energy in your natural state it is not the the feeling of being the doer of actions and the thinker of thought is failing also you see presence is permeating everything the pure self energy is permeating everything and the life may change in its outward manifestation to some extent your reading is coming from the old self is saying but well, i'm not able to do all the things i should be doing and so and so and so so this transition happens for many people and they say sometimes oh my life is really a mess at the moment i had it under control before but since i have been spending more time inside my own heart i am not so efficient in my outer duties and some kind of fear sometimes cultural traditional fear and thing you're not upkeeping you're not doing the things like this um can intimidate you you think oh no i'm my, my life is falling apart i'm going crazy actually you're going sane because the more you are happy and centered here your life is going flourishing not in the ways that others will probably use as a measure of your success or even yourself will use as a measure of success a new way of uh, evaluating if you want to say evaluating i don't 
particularly care for that word right now, but of assessing and you are able to feel that how happy you are, how much at peace you are. So this kind of seeming contradiction may happen for a while, but it will stabilize uh, somehow. Sometimes as you are discovering your true self, there are still some remnants of the old habits and identity contributing their own part to how you feel. And I'm not trying to say that this makes the world outside all perfect and everything. You are finding that in each and everything, yourself remain unchanged. And that is a tremendous elevation in consciousness. You see? So, will you tell me, please, in what way is your life suffering your awakening? No, not. I won't use the word suffering, but I feel at loss when I don't find, find myself that ambitious. I don't work with that intensity because many times I even lose the interest to do the things which I used to. Uh, do with great passion, with great ambition. Yes, and with great joy and love also? <laughs> no, I find joy more to be with myself now. You choose then. <laughs> Maybe your ambition, your passion for things and so on, it's cooled off. Hmm? Yeah. You didn't mention, oh, I've lost my joy, and I've lost all this beauty and this peace that I was getting. No, you didn't lose peace. Actually, the peace is on the increase, the joy is on the increase, no? But uh, the drive. Yeah, and at, the, at times I feel a misfit. A misfit? Yeah. In whose mind? Yours or no, no, the world? No, not in the physical uh, you know, world. I sometimes feel that I don't fit in with many things. That earlier I used to, you know, enjoy it. I don't. Yes, like what? <laughs> Mainly in socializing, maybe, and and the drive with with you which I. You always enjoy socializing. No, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking, you know, because. Uh... I, I would want to be more with myself now. So. Yes. Yeah, but is that not a good thing, Amma? Actually, each one must learn to be with themselves also. Yeah. You can be good in company and by yourself, you always have to turn on the radio and the TV and so, because you, you can't be with your own company. Yeah, this is a sign for many people as they are deepening in their understanding, the returning home into their own heart, uh, the social gatherings and so on, they seem a little bit tiresome. People want to talk about the new handbag and all this type of stuff, <laughs> and yeah. have you got the latest copy of so and so and this, and you are not feeling it. You love them, yeah. but you are not feeling for this company so much. Exactly. Mm. And that can be read as a sadness. Oh, I'm not I'm sorry. <laughs> then you call and say, Darling, I'm not really going to be able to make the tea party today. And, uh, <laughs> can I send the muffins? And, uh, you know, just, uh, and they say, What's wrong with you these days, darling? What's wrong with you? Are you feeling depressed? And if they look at you at the moment, they might think, Oh, yeah, she's a bit depressed. <laughs> because you're not being happy with your happiness. Because the mind is saying, but um, it's at the loss of some things that we falsely value, and it's not over because there, there will be times when you will be in company, and uh, but you are in your heart, and you can share now without trying to demonstrate. You can just be with people, and they may be curious about you. Oh, darling, you're so peaceful. I mean, I sit with you, feel so peaceful. How did you do it? Uh, I didn't do anything. What do you mean? You must have done something. You're looking younger and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> you see? Uh, then your, your confidence might come back a little. Be careful of that. 
But really, it, your journey is an old journey. Many, many beings, as you are discovering the truth, don't expect that your friends will necessarily appreciate. Sometimes family also, they don't appreciate it, don't know. You see, they don't know what you have found. They don't know the treasure you have found. We put other things higher. Eh? So sometimes you have to walk alone a little bit. Even though you are surrounded by people, ultimately we are all alone in this. You know? But you are not alone as a person. It is like you are alone as everything, actually. But you cannot speak this. And it doesn't mean that you'll become a recluse. You'll find somehow unexpectedly, in some environment, in some company, you're shining very easy, just so comfortable, in unexpected ways also. You may go into a place you think, you know, I'm not going to enjoy this, and whoa, you're full of joy and uh, the joys of spring and everything. And so this quality of unpredictability, appreciate. Don't be so readable, even unto yourself. Let the thing, uh, let the life free top, let it dance inside your stillness. Can you please call me to you? <laughs> when to you take your blessing. Yes, you have it in abundance. Can I come to you, please? To be true, you cannot be apart from me. But if it satisfies you to come, come. Lost her contact lens. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. We love you. Thank you so much. Okay. Really, to be honest, there is really nothing to be sad about. There is nothing to be sad about. There is a joy in your heart. That is, it's it's just blossoming more and more. Don't let the world trouble you. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't let the world trouble you because uh, sometimes we still will continue feeling pressures for a bit, and it is good because it shows you where we are still entertaining ideas about how we should be and so on like that, and you must let them. You show that this is not, but this is not true. It is not true of me. You know, sometimes we are a bit embarrassed to have changed. But you should be happy that things which need to be changed can change. In fact, when you discover the unchanging, you are much more free to let change, the wind of change can blow out the old dead leaves. Don't worry about that. And, and you know, uh, people, if they see you looking sad, then in some way, I'm not saying you should go and try and look glad, but if they see that somehow any sadness is there, uh, then you're hiding your light. Because a joy is in you, a peace is in you, a love is blossoming. It's it's so much higher than anything previous. No? Yeah. Thank you so much, Bunchy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So good. I help you up a little bit. Come. <laughs> no, no, I just want to try. <laughs> Once more, please. Thank you.